What's going on? I'm going to show you guys a nutrient-dense carnivore meal, the foods I eat, and why I eat them. So, here we obviously have some bone marrow, lamb heart, some meat that I diced up already. This is just filet mignon tenderloin from beef. This is a lamb testicle. And here I have some liver that I pureed and I put in a jar. So first, since all of this food was in the refrigerator, I like to warm it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop up the heart into bite-sized pieces. Same thing with the testicles, just chop it into bite-sized pieces. Bone marrow, I'm gonna leave it in the bone because it's easier to scoop out once it's warmed up. The meat, I'm just gonna turn it up like this. Leave it like that. Maybe flatten it out a bit so it warms up easier. And I'm just gonna take a couple teaspoons of liver, maybe just two. I'm putting this on a plate because I think it's gonna go everywhere. So the heart is for B vitamins, choline, the testicles are an excellent source of zinc. The liver, of course, all the fat soluble vitamins, particularly vitamin A. The bone marrow, we're consuming for fat calories, some vitamin K2, all the fat soluble vitamins as well. And then the meat is just mainly calories, minerals. All of these foods, for the most part, the overarching idea is a fairly significant vitamin content as well as mineral content but specific foods like the liver for vitamin A, C, the testicles for zinc, the bone marrow for K2, the heart for choline. Uh, there's specific reasons I eat certain foods. I have some kidney in the fridge that I also consume from time to time, but liver is pretty much the same nutrient density as kidney, except it has more vitamin A. Sometimes I will also add some brain tissue or fish for some DHA omega-3s. So I'm just gonna put this in the oven at the lowest temperature possible. And I'm gonna come back in like, eh, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, and it should be good to eat. I feel really bad for anyone that's been eating cold meat on a raw carnivore diet. To me, it's just not appetizing at all. All right guys, so we warmed everything up a little bit. As you can see, the marrow changed color pretty drastically. It's a lot easier to get out now. It's a little soft. The reason I chop up the liver like this is just so I could swallow it down quick at the beginning of the meal. You know, the taste of the liver is pretty good. It really depends on the quality. Normally, I just swallow the liver down. The only time I will sit down and enjoy the liver, if it's like duck liver or goose liver, some liver I really like. Uh, but the taste of the liver is, it's lamb liver. It's a little bit like acidic because, I think it's because it's been fermenting for a day or two in the fridge. But outside of that, just, almost like mild, minerally sweetness. I think that's the best way to describe it. Testicles, I've heard people say they taste like scallops. Almost sweet. But these I usually just swallow down too. Get the, get the zinc in, nutrients in. So that's kind of like the supplementary part of my meal out of the way. The rest of the stuff I usually do chew and enjoy. So this is the lamb heart. Heart is very, very minerally tasting, pretty lean. Definitely similar to muscle meat. Uh, I like the fat on the heart. It tastes good. The fat is probably my favorite part. Now I'm just going to have a little bit of filet mignon in the bone marrow. The flavor of this is a little off. Probably just the animal. Very, most people call this very, very gamey tasting. And they wouldn't be wrong. Try a bite of bone marrow. Love this stuff. The liver and the testicles, definitely the stronger tasting parts of the animal. The marrow, very, very mild tasting. And the heart is relatively mild tasting in comparison to. Unfortunately, the filet is a little gamey, but I'm going to try to get through the rest of this. I'm probably going to eat about half of the meat and all the marrow. So we got a pretty substantial amount of vitamins from the liver, the testicles, the heart, uh, especially vitamins A and vitamins K2. From the marrow, we're getting a little bit more vitamin K2, and then the filet mignon, just some more vitamins and minerals in general. So overall, a pretty nutritionally complete meal. 
The only thing I would maybe add is some DHA, some omega-3 every once in a while, but if all the fats are high quality and you're consuming a decent amount, there are linoleic and linolenic acids in the rumen and fat of the animal that your body can convert to omega-3. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. If you guys would like to reach out to me for anything uh, regarding food sourcing, whatever it may be, uh, you can check out my email in the description or contact me through the form on my website. I am doing exclusive videos on Patreon now if you guys want to check that out. There's a bunch of stuff on my Amazon shop. So like if you don't want to consume liver or don't have access to liver, I do have some canned con liver products on my Amazon shop. And last but not least, if you guys are on social media, please follow me on Twitter, on Instagram.